Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle, Stegosaurus by Jovial. Replacing marks in the grid. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. I heard from Pietato that Jovial had a new puzzle. I got super excited. It's like, oh, I got to try this one. So we've got the fives here, and there's a five. Um, I have solved this puzzle before. So I will show you what I found because the logic I found it pretty quickly the intended logic and it's beautiful you're gonna love this so I wanted to show you this but try the link below and if you get stuck or you get through it compare to this solve and see uh, how well you did alright so there's the fives there let's look at just some other um, simple cross hatching that we can do here four four two spots for four there you know you just kinda of run through real quick and see, you know, what else can we do? We can solve for seven right there because of these sevens. Um, eights, two spots for an eight. And nines, two spots for nine here. And then, let's see, is there anything else I can just knock out? Sixes, fours. I want to make sure I don't miss uh, any of the key early solves here before I get to the the exciting fun part. Okay, we got a point and pair of threes right here. So threes, threes, that means threes will be there. So here's the cool thing. Um, Florian Wortman had a puzzle that I did. I'll maybe put a link to that at the very end. Uh, and the idea was that there's these restrictions here on the columns and the rows. And that reminded me uh, the kind of look because you see how this, when this set up like this with these little corners and the symmetry, that's a telegraph. Jovial saying, check out these corners. There is something going on here, right? This stuff is kind of neat with the waves, but I knew there's something going on here. And what you'll notice is that um, this two and five are not one of these candidates here. So the two and five can't be right here. So where does it have to be? It has to be in those two spots, right? Come up here, six and the one. Can't be in these three spots. They gotta be like that. All right, come over here. Um, so seven, three, five, eight, two, and the four. See how that works? And then come down here, and you go one and the three. You'll notice the one and three can't be anywhere else, right? Very cool. So what does this do? Okay. Uh, well, what we can do is we can fill in. Uh, the naked triples here, right? Let's just finish the rest of this. You're looking at 137. 137. I'll get rid of the 7 right there. And up here, you know, you're looking at uh, 248. So 248. And you come down here, and what do you need? You know, you got a 169. So 169. And do this 9. And then come over here, and we got a two, uh, 259, right? And we'll get rid of the 5 from right here and the 9 from right there. But what you care about are these cells. This is the trick. What's the deal with those cells? All right, you have a 1 right, you know, in column 7. In column three, the ones are restricted to the same two rows, right? Uh, and you, you flip it and you go row one and row nine, the ones are restricted to the same two cells. That means you have an X wing. Okay? Because either one is going to be there and there, or it's going to be here and here for uh, these rows and then these columns. So you can eliminate all the other ones going up column three and column seven. Same thing with the twos, right? The twos are restricted to the same two spots, columns three and seven, in rows one and nine. So you can you can get rid of all the twos that go across here, right? So it's a double X-wing, ones and twos. Now think about where do these cells interact, where they provide double elimination, where it limits a one and a two. And I'll get rid of the colors, and it's going to be these four cells. Okay, and I, I, when I spot this, it's like, this is awesome. This is pretty dang cool, Jovio. I love it. So these four cells, you know, because because the one is, has to be here or here, can't be in that spot or that spot. And so the two is here or here, can't be in that spot or that spot, right? So the, 
this cell right here cannot contain a one or a two. This cannot contain a one or a two. This cannot contain a one or a two. This one cannot contain a one or a two. This is how you get through and, and get to the cool part of the salt. So let's look at this one right here because I remember I believe this was the first one that I the first cell I was able to solve out of this. So if you look right here, uh, this can't be a one or a two. It can't be a three, four, or five. It could be a six. It can't be a seven or an eight. So it could be a six or a nine. Okay. Let's look right here. Uh, can't be a one or two. Can't be a three, four, five, six, seven. That can be an eight or nine. What about right here? You uh, look in right here. Can't be a one or two. Can't be a three or four, five, six. It can be a seven or an eight. And then come down here and can't be a one or two, three, four, five, six, seven or nine. So now what happens here? What do these four cells have in common? And I will do this and maybe you can see it. Seven, eight, eight, nine, seven, nine. This is an X wing, right? So, you know, this is the pivot. These are the pinchers. So if this is a seven, that's a nine. If this is an eight, that's a nine. So you can eliminate a nine from right there. And you solve that cell for six. This is cool. And Joby told me, uh, and I've already featured this on my Sudoku recommendations, that this is what she was trying to do. Uh, and she gave a lot of credit to the T-Rex for the inspiration. So the idea was she wanted these double X wings that created an X, Y wing. They're trying for an X, Y ring, where all the way around this would be a uh, continuous loop. But an X, Y wing is still very cool. And so you can solve that cell right there. And now the puzzle uh, gets a lot easier, right? Because now you have a six here. Got these sixes. means that this has to be a six. And let's get rid of these colors while we're at it. And we'll get back. Okay, so now six, six is and six, six. Now we're going to, be able to solve this for a six. And already we're going to be able to resolve the one x, y wing. And then so that's now a three. Okay. And so solve that three there. And you can kind of go from here and look. You got two spots there. What's that? It can be a three or an eight. I'll make that mark real quick. And then we're going to keep, you know, moving on with, with the puzzle here. So one and a one, so only one spot left for a one in block nine. So you can solve that for a one. What else can we do? One, one, only one spot for a one. We can solve that for a one. And then let's look at the twos. You know, this cannot be a two anymore. So that's the only spot left for a two here in block seven is right here. So now we can solve that two, those two X wings already. So there's your four and there's two. See how that works? I, I thought this was a really, really clever, very cool. I love it. Get this two come down here. So let's do some regular solving here and kind of get through this puzzle. Um, I, I, if you were like, hey, I don't really understand X wings. Hopefully by the time you did this puzzle, great. You're like, oh, I don't really understand X, Y wings. Hopefully running through this puzzle, you go, oh, I get it, I get it. It's beautiful how she used both of those strategies together to create a solve in this puzzle. All right, what do we have left here? Um, again, I'm doing a lot of talking and not a lot of solving. Nine, nines, the nines in those two spots uh, right there. Let's do that. Okay, what else we got here as we get back on track? So we got a 3-8, we can actually solve right here. This has got to be a 4, right? So a 4, 4, 4 is in those spots. So this would be your 8-9. Uh, we'll finish that up. Uh, nice little naked pair going on. And let's move on here with uh, the rest of this. What are we looking at here in row? Well, first we'll just do uh, block 7. We got 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're looking at 5, 7, 9, right? So there's your 5 and there's your 9. So this has got to be your 7. And so that's a nine, and that's going to be a five. All right, so we solve that nine. This has got to be your nine up here. And get rid of that nine. And so five, five, two, five, nine down there. What are these two cells? They're going to be uh, four, four and six. You got your six right here. So here's your six. Here's your four. And you know at this point you want to go to the areas of the greatest restriction. So I'm going to look at uh, houses, row calls, and blocks, 
and see that have the greatest restriction and then try to fill out the rest of those. So what we got right there, it looks like seven and eight. We'll put that down. And then I want to switch over here because there's only two cells remaining in column two, right? So I'm looking at uh, six or an eight. So there's a six, oh, excuse me, not six or eight. Yeah, six or an eight. Here's a six. So here's your six right here. And there's your eight. Uh, so we can solve that for a seven. And now we've solved all the cells of that X, Y, wing actually seven that's a nine actually I haven't solved it just yet I will though oh yeah we have there we go that's a nine that's an eight getting ahead of myself here um, so we look across here and now looking at row three you're missing a three and three to nine here's your nine so there's your nine there's three okay and we got you know full house right here so we definitely want to fill that out there's a two and then what are these two cells remaining you're looking at a five and a seven uh, I can't really solve that just yet, but I'll just make the little markers. And right here, what do you have? Looks like 4 and 8. I can't solve that yet, so I'll make those. Because naked pairs are really helpful. You put those in there, and it's a nice little placeholder. But hey, we got the 6 here, so we'll only solve that for a 1. And then you have this 9 and the 1 right here, so that's your 6. And then that's your 9. Okay, and since we just solved that for a 1, we can get rid of that 1 right there. Uh, 6, 6, 6 coming down here. Here's your 6. All right, we got uh, the nine, so now that's going to be a two. That's going to be your nine. That's going to be your five. And you see now we're disambiguating these naked triples, which is really cool. Um, and so we've got the five here, so this is your seven. That's your five. And you see how it just kind of melts. You know, you got your seven here, so there's going to be your eight. That's going to be your seven. And you just make more and more solves. So this eight right here, and you see there's a four right there. So this has got to be your four and this has got to be your two to finish up column six and then you get you know there's your four here's your two so that's your eight and that's your two right there see how that works and i'm trying not to make any more marks but just solve the rest of the of the puzzle without the marks so what do we got these two spots here looking at uh, three to four here's your four so there's your four in row four you got the three here's your eight and there's your four right there nice uh, and look across here. It looks like it was still a three and a seven. Here's a three. So there's a seven. Here's a three. Here's a one. Here's a seven. And I cut across here. We solved that three. So there's your eight. There's a three. So we got rid of all the marks. And we have two left, right? And so we know we got to have a one. And ones are pretty easy to see with your peripheral. So that's definitely got to be your one. And so what's the last cell here, right? It's going to be an eight. Check out these other solving videos for my channel include this one from jovial thank you so much jovial for letting me feature your puzzle on my channel you're an awesome setter i loved what you did here don't forget to buy me a coffee link thank you so much for watching